Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. See what we have to prove. We have to prove that N D is a complete matrix space. N means set of natural numbers, right? And D is matrix is defined in this way. And we have to prove that it is complete matrix space. Tell me when we say the matrix space is complete. If every Cauchy sequence is convergent, then we say the matrix space is complete. That means here we have to take any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we have to prove that it is convergent so let us start to prove uh, c by definition of d so what will i do first i will try to analyze the definition of d they have given in very so much complicated way if m and n if both numbers are same so its value is zero distance is obviously zero and if points are distinct it is uh, defined in this way 1 plus 1 by m plus n it is looking complicated but see uh, definitely we can understand one thing that by definition of d d of x y is equal to 0 if x is equal to y i am defining the same thing uh, with the help of variables x y they have defined with the help of m and n and d of x y is greater than 1 if x is not equal to y. If points are same, distance is 0. And if points are different, distance is defined in this way, but obviously it is greater than 1 since 1 plus some positive real number. So that's why it is greater than 1. Okay, so this thing we have understood by the definition of D. So let us start to prove, we have to prove it is complete. Let us take one Cauchy sequence. Let xn B any -E Cauchy sequence in ND. So I have taken any arbitrary Cauchy sequence and we have to prove that it is convergent. So we will start with definition of Cauchy sequence. You remember the definition of Cauchy sequence for given epsilon greater than 0, there exists a fixed natural number n such that D of xn comma xm less than epsilon for all nm greater than or equal to capital N. So, this is the definition of Cauchy sequence. We start with for any arbitrary epsilon. That means you can take any epsilon which is positive. So, here I am taking our epsilon is 1 by 2. So, therefore, for epsilon is equal to 1 by 2 greater than 0, by definition of Cauchy sequence, we can write there exists a natural number n such that d of xn comma xm less than epsilon for all n m greater than or equal to capital N, right? See, uh, d of xn xm, you can take any uh, uh, terms of a sequence xn and xm, but n and m should be greater than or equal to capital N. What will I do? I will fix my m, okay? I am going to fix m. So, let me mention in particular, in particular, we can write d of xn comma x capital N less than epsilon. So now n only can vary just m is fixed okay which is capital N okay this thing I have got. So let us use this space to complete the remaining part of this solution right. But see what is our epsilon my epsilon is 1 by 2 so let me put it here therefore d of xn x capital N less than 1 by 2 for all n greater than or equal to capital N. That means the distance between xn and x capital N is less than half. Just now we have concluded with this part, getting distance there is zero if points are same and if points are different distance is greater than one. That means distance is either zero or greater than one. There is no any distance between zero and one for this definition. But here we are saying the distance is less than half that means only option is 0. So therefore, distance must be 0. So it is equal to 0. So tell me when the distance is 0. Distance is 0 that means points are same. So both are equal since the distance is 0. So it means all xn is equal to x capital N, right? This is true for all n greater than or equal to capital N. That means sequence will look like this x1, x2, x3 and so on up to xn minus 1 and after nth term you will get all terms same xn, 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 xn like that. 
So when we get this type of sequence, we call it as a eventually constant sequence. Okay, so let me mention. Therefore, xn is eventually constant sequence. Therefore, xn is eventually constant sequence. Okay, eventually constant sequence. That means after finite terms, you will get same term. Okay, you know all terms will be same in the sequence. What is our target? We started with any arbitrary Cauchy sequence, and our target is to prove it is convergent. So right now, I will prove. my sequence xn will converge to the same point xn let me mention now we will prove we will prove uh, let me remove this part xn converges to the same number that x capital n okay so obviously using epsilon definition i'm going to prove so let us start with any arbitrary epsilon let epsilon greater than 0 be given okay so see there is no more space to write just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so now we have to prove that xn converges to x capital n okay so this thing we have to prove so let us start with i am going to consider d of xn comma x capital n If we can prove it is less than epsilon, definitely by definition of convergent sequence, we can say xn converges to x capital n. Okay, so let us start to work on it. D of, but see we have already stated xn is equal to x capital n. Okay, so I am going to replace this xn by x capital n. I will copy this xn as it is. But see there is a condition when it is true when we say both are equal. If our n is greater than or equal to capital n, then only we can say both of them are equal. what we have got distance between x and x and both terms are same it means the distance is zero distance is zero and see this zero is less than epsilon since our epsilon is greater than zero so what is our conclusion d of x n x capital n right we started with this we got strictly less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to capital n this is the definition of convergent sequence therefore xn converges to x capital n in nd yes so we started with any arbitrary cauchy sequence and we proved that it is convergent therefore every cauchy sequence in nd is convergent so we are concluding therefore every cauchy sequence in nd is convergent this is definition of complete matrix space so therefore nd is complete nd is complete okay so in this way we have completed this example just make a screenshot of it then we will stop stop and we will meet in next video thank you see you